block the light. Ugh. I know you have no proof of this, but I had a wonderful 13 minute video filmed and it accidentally off my phone. Ugh. I plugged in the phone to the computer. I copied the file over to the folder and in the folder it says, yeah, we got it. We got your JPEG. What? No, it's it's like an MP4 file. What? No. So then I go back to the folder that has the video in it and that file is gone. <laughs> okay. Okay, what? The whole MP4 is gone. And on the computer it says it's a JPEG. That makes no sense. Um, restart the phone. And... <laughs> I'm I'm exaggerating how stressed I am to get the frustration across, but Ugh. so I restart the phone, plug it back into the computer, and in the file folder there, under like camera or whatever, it's like yeah we exist, but we're a JPEG. <laughs> I think that makes no sense. That makes no sense. Okay, whatever. Lost a video I was really happy about. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's try to give people something today. So what I was talking about was that in your creative process, you've got to experiment and find the daily organization that works for you. For example, I have to work out in the mornings or afternoons and I have to schedule my work time around that working out so right when I wake up work for three hours go to the gym work the rest of my work day and then I can do whatever else I need to do that's what works for me sometimes when I wake up go straight to the gym and then come back do the the work day I've got planned then you have free time. I can't work out late. When I do, like I did today, came home, had to make some food, and still have three hours to write. So, I've still got an hour and a half of that writing to do. And the video that I was going to upload isn't here, but you get the general idea of... Uh, of what I said in that video. So, I mean, if anything, this is a, a practice in making more concise videos. I am sleepy because I went to the gym too late. You gotta work out in the morning. If you're like me, exercise is necessary. You need it to focus, to think clearly, to, to be productive, to, to be you. You need some kind of exercise. That's me. If I don't exercise, I'm a Facebooking, email checking kind of worker. Not getting a lot done. <laughs> so, you beautiful people, find what works best for you. Look up different people that, that you look up to and see what kind of schedule works for them. And then just crash course it. Figure out what works for you by trying something new for a few days in a row. And if that helps, continue doing it. If it doesn't, change it up. Because you've got to be able to schedule everything you need to get done in one day. And to do it successfully. So I feel like there's some points I'm missing. But you get the general idea, right? Everyone's process of productivity is different. For me, I've got to work out. Then I can get all my work done. And I have to focus on getting that work done first. Then I can have the rest of my day. Or I just won't get to it. Like I'll just, I'll, I might not finish the last hour and a half of writing today. I'll put a good 20 minutes in. But you see what I mean? Like it's too late. Should have done it at the beginning of the day. So find out what works for you. 
And then share with me what works for you. I'm always looking to improve my system. I know that I've got to work out and, and set work first before any kind of play or errands or side projects that aren't work. But if I find a better way to do things, I'm going to do that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience. Well, hopefully this file, video, not JPEG, uploads properly. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. You're going to you're going to enjoy the video more. It'll be a little more energetic. This is uh this is my frustration face with the with the arm here. Have a good day. Good night. Good life. Thanks for watching. And if I made